welcome everybody to the Wahimo Community Board meeting that is being held by Zoom this evening. Um, I just, this meeting is being recorded, so if everybody could just bear with us as we get to the tactics of learning how to Zoom. Okay, so I'd like to welcome um, our visitors to the meeting tonight, uh, Mayor Gary Kircher, Alex Palmy, C. Alex Palmy, welcome. This is your first um, meeting to the Wahimo Community Board. Welcome. Um, I could introduce you to the other members, Carol Watson up in the top right, right hand corner, and Paul Roy, and you've met Paul before. Okay, let's get on with the meeting. Okay, um, any apologies? We've got one from Casey Link later. No other apologies. Um, I'm not sure what's happened with Katrina, but we'll put her down as an apology. And she might resume in later. She, Could I have she, she was no. there. She, she is. is. Oh, are you there? She's on. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Welcome, Katrina. Could I have a mover and a seconder, please, for the apologies? A mover, please. Oh, Paul, thank you, Paul. And a second it, Carol, thank you. Any declarations of interest? Excuse me, Madam Chair, could you just put that motion to the meeting first? Please? Oh, I will, thank you. All those in favor, please say aye, Carol. Aye. Thank you. Uh, Katrina? Aye. Paul, uh, Jim? Aye. Paul. Aye. Carried. Okay, moving on to item number two, declarations of interest. Are there any board members who wish to declare an interest in any items in the agenda? Just Katrina? the ones with the AMP and the Pukitaku Trust. Thank you. Could I have a mover for that, please? Uh, Jim Thompson, seconder. Paul Roy. All those in favour, please say aye. Carol? Aye. Uh, Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul? Thank you. Carried. Public forum. As there's no public forum tonight, we will move on to item number four, confirmation of the previous minutes. Could I please have a mover, please, for the confirmation of minutes? Paul Roy? Thank you. Seconder Jim Thompson. All those in favour, please say aye. Carol? Aye. Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Carried. Thank you. Now we move on to item number five. Memorandum reports 5.5 .5 on the agenda. Are there any um, discussion points that anybody wishes to raise? I would. 5.1 agenda item, Madam Chair. 5.1 recreation report. Thank yep. you. Yep. Uh, Katrina? <laughs> I've lost my notes now. <laughs> it's so this okay. is tricky. I've got three screens going and I still can't see what I need. I think it was about the um, mixed mixed. Um, plantings for the cemetery or I just questioned whether it needed to be either or native or ornamental and I got a reply on that just saying that it could be either or it doesn't matter if anybody's got any ideas so that was good and I can't remember what the other one was um, I could I could um, sorry um, the other one Lisa, was I, I just could gonna, sorry damn to I was just going to um, chime in and say that the other item was the Millennium Track, um, I believe. Uh, oh, no, sorry, it was the... Um, Palmerston Domain. The Palmerston Domain jet jetting. Mm. That's yes. right, yeah. yeah. And that's been clarified as well. And it's yeah. been vis visually monitored, not with flow meter or anything like that. Thank you. Um, I could give you the response from the officer um, for the um, Palmerston Cemetery, and the response for that, to that is that a mixed landscape would be fine if there was any concept combination anyone is passionate about, we would welcome suggestions. 
key requirements, low maintenance, hardy, wind, drought, tolerant, and don't grow too big. Previous suggestions were just a couple of ideas as how to this could be achieved. And um, I think that once we can get into um, meetings with um, informal meetings and workshops, we can discuss that further with the REC team as we go along. Okay, the Palmston domain, I just, I'm just going down each item as we go. Um, that's been sort of the jetted. The park, uh, walking improvements, we're just still waiting on that. I did see um, the contractor working there the other day, so hopefully that's moving forward. The Pukitapu Community Trust um, uh, workshop will be um, organised once we are at maybe level two, just waiting for instructions on that, but definitely a level one, and we can do that. The Mill Domain Dump Station, a second alarm. This is like to include a second uh, installation of a second alarm. I understand there's rubbish going um, into there with that in there. That they may need to put another alarm in there. Hamden Beach, all the potholes are being filled in there. Hampton Cemetery, head trimming's completed. Um, it's great that the Hampton Energy Group are keeping that um, Curry Creek project um, coming along. So that's good. Anybody stop me as they want to go along? Memorial Oaks and the Millennium Walkway has been talked about. Um, I have been in discussions with the um, Read the Rabbits there with. Um, Sally Dicey from, she is from a senior consultant resource management and natural environment and um, we had a discussion about that and I sent the um, letter through to the board um, last evening and um, it is hoped that we can um, have a workshop on the rabbit control in the area up at Hamden and Meraki. Any other, oh sorry I'm not watching you Jim, sorry Jim. Thank you Madam Chair. Um, <clears throat> We seem to have been talking about the rabbits for some time. Perhaps she's hoping that we can talk them into moving away from Moiraki, but um, <clears throat> I forwarded her information um, at the end of uh, July with key stakeholders, as did staff. So at, at the present stage, I'm a wee bit sceptical. It seems to be more of a talk fest than a do fest. Thanks, Jim. I guess that if, if we can set up a meeting with her, we can discuss all those options and see what's actually happening there and where they want to go from here. Any other discussions in the REC update? No? Would somebody like to recommend... Uh, sorry, just go up here. Would somebody like to recommend that the Wahima Community Board receives and notes the information received? Uh, moved Carol Watson, seconder please. Paul Roy, all those in favour please say aye. Carol? Aye. Katrina? You're on mute, Katrina. That's just dandy fun. Aye. Uh, Jim? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Carrie, thank you. And if we can move on to page number 16, 5.2. And the assets update. This is the update that was um, in the council papers on the 10th of August. Um, I just note in there. Madam Chair, that's the Sorry. 10th August assets committee meeting. Thank that's you. The... Thank you. I knew I'd be corrected if it wasn't right. Thank you, Ainsley. Um, I do note that we had an additional of 1.75 kilometres of water mains. Um, in Palmerston, bringing the total replaced to five kilometres. Obviously, there was a need for that there to be done. Um, and I also note in there that the programming on the District Road Gilligan intersection is going to be commencing um, soon, I understand. And that, that's the intersection that we talked about um, some months ago. 
Has anybody else got anything? Oh, sorry, I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, Jim, thank you. Yeah, no, Madam Chair, um, I'll, I'll come back to that if you like um, when um, I table my report um, because I've spoken to the roading manager on a number of issues. Thank you, Jim. There's actually quite some good photos in that report of the water mains in, um, in Palmerston. And I must say that it's all um, nice and tidy. It's all been left nice and tidy. Um, I just wanted to move down to the slips on page 29. Um, the Goodwood slip has been um, prepared, done and fixed. And I understand that um, all the locals around there are quite happy with that. And I just checked today that on the slip at Horse Range Road has been completed. Okay. Any other questions to the, oh, Gary, sorry. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just, uh, just a quick question for the Palmerston people. Um, just with the work that's been going on, has there been any um, change in you know, and discolor is there, is there more discoloration oh. and so on of water, or is it improving? Because I know that's been a bit of an ongoing issue is the the, the quality of the water because of the pipes. Um, okay, so I understand from one or two that their water was discolored, but um, that was while they were working there. So I imagine now that that it would be it should be okay. So I could check on that and just ask one or two ratepayers. Yeah, I think um, through you, Madam G, I think, you know, it's to be expected there will be a bit while they're just working on it and maybe just after that, but it should all settle down. But I know there were some issues just because it's the, there were so many old pipes and so on, and um, it was causing tainting of the water and so on. Yeah. Was the reports yeah. I got. So it'd be good to know yeah. how that's going. But uh, yeah, yeah just, just as you speak to people, it'd be good to know. I will, I, will, I, will, I will check on people, um, particularly the ones who did have a lot of discoloration in their water in particular streets around Palmerston. Okay, thank you. Um, anybody else like to make comments on the um, assets update? No, no hands up. Would somebody like to um, uh, move the recommendation that the Rohima Community Board receives the information. Thank you. Mm, Katrina moved and seconded by Paul Roy. All those in favour, please say aye. Carol? Aye. Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Thank you. Um, move now on to item 5.3 on page 42, the financial update. Um, has anybody got any comment on that, on the financial update? I have, I can't find my piece of paper. Um, I think we have to acknowledge um, the staff that have, have written up the report, uh, given that they are quite busy um, at the moment during COVID and um, that we look forward to an updated financial report at the next board meeting in November. Would somebody, as if no other discussion on that, would somebody like to move the financial report, please? Uh, Carol, a second of Paul. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Uh, Carol? Aye. Uh, Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Carrie, thank you. Now we move on to item 5.4 on page 45, the consents. and consents for June and July 2021. No comments on those consents? Would somebody like to make a um, move the recommendation that the Wahimo Community Board receives the, and notes the information? A mover, please. Katrina, thank you. Seconder. 
Jim, thank you. All those in favour, please say aye, Carol. Aye. Um, Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Thank you, carried. We we'll move now on to item 5.5 on the agenda, page 47, correspondence. And um, you would have all read the, um, the letter that Mayor Gary Kircher had sent us after the long-term plan. Uh, thank you, Gary, for sending that through. And um, thank you also to the councillors for the amount of money that we're going to be getting um, in the long-term plan, plan for this coming long-term plan. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Has anybody got any comments they want to make on, on those? No? Would somebody like to move the recommendation that the board receives correspondence? Carol, thank you. Uh, seconder, please. Paul, thank you. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Carol? Aye. Katrina? Aye. Aye. Uh, Jim and Paul. Aye. Aye. Thank, thank you. Carried. Now we move on to item 5.6 on page 50, the chairperson's report. Has anybody got any comments they would like on the chairperson's report? I'd just like to um, add there that um, we are working on the 10 year plan. Um, currently and um, hopefully we can um, get that um, up onto the page shortly but I have um, added all the points that um, that Gary made in his letter that in the previous point into that long-term plan and um, we'll get that on the way and hopefully get that up on the site shortly. Thank you and I've talked about the Katapi Community Trust. All right thank you. Um, from the chair, I'd like to move that report. Would somebody like to second that, please? Um, Carol, thank you. All those in favour, please say aye. Carol? Aye. Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Thank you. Now we move on to item 5.7 on page 52 of the agenda. Community Boards and Councillors Report. Um, Paul, I'll give you the opportunity um, to report verbally if you show so wish to do so. Um, yeah, if I have really got a heck of a lot, I did, I did meet uh, with uh, the new CE um, and, and yourself and Jim and Gary up at the mine a while ago, but that's probably been about it for this week, this, this month. I, I did, I drove a tractor to Wackawite as part of the uh, groundswell protest. Um, not sure that's <laughs> part of it, but that's about all I've done really this 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 month. Uh, thank you, Paul. I understand that there was um, quite a number of tractors come down from McRae's, which is actually quite a long way to come down. So that was probably quite appreciated from the Greenswell, Greenswell Committee. Thank you. Um, Katrina. Would you like to verbally do a report, please? I will. Unfortunate that I was not quite prepared for it uh, when it was due. So my last report was a bit cynical and weary after preliminary indications not much would be happening around the ward and my report having to be submitted some days before the release of a council announcement on which 10-year plan projects would be going ahead. Happily, many have been treated favourably, although there will no doubt be questions around scheduling of them. I encourage our Wahimo Ward community to jump in with any thoughts or suggestions to really get these projects up and running. With good weather recently, it's been lovely to be able to get out riding around Dumbeck again. Having had a mild winter and a dedicated group of locals, the plantings around the village are established and enhancing our neighbourhood. The Dumbeck domain hedge has not been forgotten and the untrimmed half will be attended to once lambs and ewes are settled about their business. Also, the proposed domain to swing Bridge walkway project is inching forward and we look forward to sharing more on this as plans are put in place. 
our community would like to acknowledge the wonderful service provided by our local businesses and delivery services during lockdown. The kindness and consideration shown is very much appreciated. I would like to finish by congratulating Ethan Rail on his new role as a community development support person under Safer Waitaki. Ethan is a wonderfully compassionate young man on a mission to ensure our young people have their say in decision making in this community, an ambition I wholeheartedly support. Thank you. Thank you, Katrina. Um, Carol, would you like to add anything to your report or comment on your report? Um, no, Madam Chair. Thank you, Carol. Uh, Jim, would you like to elaborate on your report? Anything you'd like to comment on? Um, just one uh, raft of issues I'd share with the board, Madam Chair. Um, I had fielded um, a number of um, concerns about roads in the in the district, as we do. So I have had correspondence backwards and forwards with the roading manager around some of those. Um, so the first one that I'd raised, of course, was the fact that we had seen no action on the Gilligan District Road corner, um, which now seems to be back on, on board. Um, I also raised concerns on the Gilligan Bro Street intersection um, one side of Bro Street still being gravel um, and that intersection is being used by logging trucks again so it's a safety okay. issue um, the roading manager um, tells me that logging trucks should not be using the road and he would be corresponding with the logging company the other two roads were Island Road um, round um, the back of um, uh, Bushy uh, oh, and um, the Nenthorn Road, both of which um, posed some major problems when uh, a rain event after they had been graded. Um, and I was able to go back and find some complaints that had gone to council that the roading manager wasn't aware of that actually had photos. So the, he's proposing an inspection of those roads. And the other one is the councillor's pet project of trying to get the switchback bridge um, workable under uh, flood conditions. And to that um, extent, the regional council in consultation with Waitaki uh, seeking a resource consent to remove the gravel, which probably start in October. Um, thank you, Jim. Does anybody else want to speak to um, those points that Jim has raised? I think that the logging trucks, um, there, used, there used to be a quite a strict criteria where they could drive and where they couldn't drive. So obviously that just needs to be um, reinforced back to the truck drivers because I think some of the roads they shouldn't actually be driving down, which they are um, at the moment. So we need to take a look at that. Thank you. Okay, um, if there's nothing else to um, report on there, would somebody like to recommend that the community board, the community board receives and notes the information for the community board and councillors reports. Okay, uh, Jim, thank you and Paul. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Carol? Aye. Katrina? Aye. Jim? Aye. And Paul. All right. Thank you. Now we move on to 5.8 of the um, agenda on page 54, the councillor information report links to council meeting and agenda papers. And I'd like to um, now invite uh, Mayor Gary Kircher if you'd like to speak to the meeting. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take it that it's been read. Um, the, um, some, some of the key things really were just, um, again, looking at some of the reform work that's going on at the moment, where things are at. Um, again, since writing that, it's, um, things keep keep moving forward. So um, at the moment, we're, we're still in the eight-week period where we're um, trying to figure out, you know, what's, what's the, the, the true situation for us and, um, you know, what what's the information that we need to have to engage with our community around Three Waters reform. Um, 
we're just starting on work on putting together a bit of a, a series of small video clips just to help explain the situation to the public um, just as a starting point and then uh, look at what we can do to more directly engage with them uh, in, a, in a more two-way conversation so that's something that's ongoing um, there's um yeah future for local government is also in there um and we're as part of otago and um and the canterbury mural forums we've written in both forums to the minister just asking for a pause because we you know there's 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 a lot of um stuff happening in that water space and we want to make sure that it's not getting away from us and equally there's not um not as you know the the future for local government work is is a bit behind that and we'd rather that they go a bit more hand in hand with some of that so there is that um and just just going back to some of the comments around the amount of work that's being done we we, we have set a fairly ambitious long-term plan again um unfortunately that comes with rate rises but um there's a there's a lot of things we have to do and there's a lot of things our community want us to get on and do so one of the things that um, we've asked, uh, agreed to with the CE that he does is go and appoint a new uh, project manager to help with some of the extra work. Um, there's so many things that we, projects we've got that are partly done or can't start because we haven't got enough resources to actually oversee them. So just having that uh an extra person to do that adding to the team of the different project managers and so on we've got across different departments should allow us to get on and do some of those other jobs that um that haven't been able to happen having said that um obviously you have seen all of that water work and so on that's been going on and around the wahimo ward and in particular palmerston a lot of um a lot of money has gone into that uh, a bit more than what was planned but um it was a great opportunity to to get some some real good progress happening there so we're really pleased about that um yeah just there's there's often uh, for a lot of projects um we've either got the funding agreed to or even in many cases the funding's actually sitting there but we haven't got the people to actually run the project so um, the more we can get on with those things the more progress people will see and the more results they'll they'll uh, see happening in their own local communities so that's probably enough from me, but that's, um, yeah, th things are happening, a um, lot of stuff going on. And they are for, um, you know, obviously having to, to struggle doing some of the things via um, Zoom and um, through lockdown, but we'll be pleased when we go to level two and hopefully level one soon, hopefully. So any questions? Does anybody have any questions for um, in response to Gary's comments? No, thank you, Gary. Um, I'm sure that everybody will be looking forward to getting back into level two and particularly level one, so we all get back to normal. Um, now I'd like to invite um, our new CE, Alex Palmy, to um, address the meeting. Thank you very much. And, and uh, thank you for inviting me here. It's good to be here. Uh, and I'd start off by saying it was really good uh, to get out and, and see your part of the uh, district. It seems like a long time ago now, it was only, only a few weeks ago, but a lot seems to have happened uh, in that time. So, so thank you, Chair, uh, for taking on the call with, with Councillor Thompson as well and the Mayor. Uh, and yeah, it was really fantastic to see uh, some of the things you've been working on, but also to get to understand uh, some of the, you know, the, the challenges and the opportunities uh, in your part of the district. Uh, I'm not going to go over um, uh, the things that uh, the mayor has covered, but needless to say, uh, there's a lot of potential change uh, in the old thing. Uh, and I think part of the, the reason, um, you know, why uh, the mayor and the councillors recruited me was to really look uh, and work, work with the council and work with yourselves to see how we can uh, make the most of that change and uh, secure some better outcomes uh, for the people of, of the Waitaki district, including your your patch as well. So, I think as we move forward, we need to make sure that you know um, you're engaged in, in that process uh, with us, 
so that we can uh, ensure that we're, we're better placed uh, to realize your ambitions uh, for, for the Wahimo area. Um, the, the, as well as uh, the future local government review and, and the three waters uh, reform, some other important aspects of uh, work that uh, I've been asked to uh, lead on and take forward as part of the, the um, uh, key performance indicators is uh, really looking at uh, some of the strategic issues uh, that face the, the district and how we can uh, actually uh, improve on that. A particular one I'd highlight is around uh, economic development and tourism, um, where we've committed to uh, look to develop a, a new uh, strategy and review how we are set up. Uh, not just as a district council, but with our partners and with stakeholders uh, to see if we can uh, go further than uh, you know, uh, we currently are and deliver better on that. And I think that'd be um, important as well. Uh, obviously, we have the, uh, the challenge of the, the district plan uh, review, mm -hmm. think that through to a successful uh, conclusion. Uh, district plans are always challenging because um, you know, different people want to see different things from them. And, and sometimes those views don't always accord with each other. And as a council, it's our job to try and mediate those views so that we get the best future for uh, all parts of the district. Um, and um, we're doing a lot of work internally as well uh, to look at how we as an organization uh, can you know, move with the time to ensure that we are uh, efficient, fit for purpose, uh, to serve uh, the people all, all the district as best we can. Uh, so that'll be the focus of my work with the, uh, the mayor and the councillors uh, over the coming years. It's a mixture of you know, some very strategic things and some internal things, which are all about ensuring that we uh, deliver the best uh, for everyone in Waitaki. Happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alex. Um, is there anybody who would like to address any questions back to Alex? No? Thank you, Alex, um, for that. Now I'd like to invite Councillor Bill Kingan on board and, and give us an update what's happening at council. Good evening all. Um, it's, it's been a bit difficult for Alex. He arrived here, probably had a couple of weeks look around, um, got his feet almost under the table, um, and then he's been stuck at, at the table for the following period. And well, you'll uh, be aware that I'm from the Corridale Ward, um, and I had planned to take Alex out to meet some farmers, um, get them to get a bit of a look at, at just how things are operating out in our district. Um, calves are being born, lambs are uh, being born just now too. Um, big tractors are working lots of ground. Um, and over the last three weeks, whatever, um, it's been business as usual pretty much out here. Um, but but it, it is an important part, as you guys are, of the district. Um, and sometimes, Maybe you feel that, that everything centres around Omaru, but um, it's it's up for Jim and I and Guy and Ross to make sure that, that that's not necessarily the case, that we look at the whole district. Um, and so that's that's part of what we're sworn in to do, um, and that's what we do. So, and me um, too, Bill. Sorry? And me too. <laughs> and you too, Gary. So, uh, but anyway, um, thanks for being involved and um, keep up the good work. Thank you, Bill. Does, would anybody from the board like to um, address Bill's comments? No? Thank you. Um, Lisa Bailey, would you like to address the meeting? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, firstly, just something certainly in your neck of the woods, I wanted to acknowledge um, a rather long-standing customer liaison team member, Barbara Taylor, who's just retired from the Wahimo Service Centre after, I think, about 18 years. So we were hoping to celebrate her retirement, but uh, lockdown had other things to say about that. So we'll do that at some time in the future, but just acknowledging the, um, the work that she's done there and hopefully we'll see her in from time to time as she might join us on a bit of a casual basis so you might see her face around still. Um, secondly, been working um, with the chair on the community board plan so that's certainly still front and centre in, in your minds I know and in some of the minds of your community members so um, yeah still working on that and getting an updated version um, uh, on this website and perhaps through the count through the um, community board meetings for updating in the future, which will be great to see. Um, 
during this time, it's been uh, a really around working with um, staff, elected members um, on, on the whole lockdown process and working to ensure that our staff are, are actively busy. But to be honest, it's been a pretty seamless transition into lockdown this time. Um, staff are very, very busy and operating pretty well and um, levels both within staff and in the community seem to be reasonably buoyant so far so that's really pleasing for us to see um, and during that time really trying to keep as much business as usual happening uh, across council where we can and then the last thing now with obviously the announcement that we're going into level two um, very late tomorrow night uh, we're working with all our managers and our facilities including our, our branch libraries in the districts to work on reopening protocols obviously level two is a little different to level two last year and we're still waiting for a few more details about that um, but there will be messaging coming out as it impacts on all the districts so if you've got any questions in terms of Waihemo by all means um, get into touch um, and we'll, we'll do what we can there so yeah it's been a very busy uh, short while but um, quite productive I'm pleased to say from a, an officer point of view. Thank you Lisa. Um, do any board members want to um, make any comments? Jim thank you. Yes thank you Madam Chair. Through you I'd just <clears throat> like to ask the group manager um, <clears throat> her thoughts on um, the service centre in Waihemo and the fact that we are very much a seven day a week work focused community because of the mine, um, whether going forward there's an opportunity that the um, community centre could be available or have opening hours on a Saturday, um, because not only the miners, but we also are a developing into a commuter town and, and a lot of our ratepayers are in um, Dunedin or Omaru Monday to Friday and it would be nice to um, give them access to to the facilities on maybe a Saturday morning or whatever. Through the chair just an answer to that yes it's something that we've been talking about for some time in terms of what um, you know are the appropriate service level needs in in the whole district and including Waihemo um, it's a conversation we need to have with our councillors in terms of what that service delivery looks like we've been looking at you know with the current staffing changes in there what opportunities there might be to consider the hours. We also survey the community mainly through the library survey uh, and it's something that has come through there as well as, as quite a bit of an interest particularly for a Saturday morning. So we're very open to working with our library and our customer liaison team onto how we can better serve that community and, and hope to have that conversation around the chamber table at some stage in the near future. Uh, thank you Lisa. Um, any other comments to Lisa? No comments. Okay, um, if we could um, have a mover, please, for the recommendation of the that the community board receives and notes that information. Um, mover, uh, Paul, thank you. Seconder, Katrina, thank you. All those in favour, please say. Oh no, uh, yes. All those in favour, please say aye. Carol, aye. Katrina, aye. Jim. Aye. And Paul. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Carried. That's carried. Um, thank you. That's that's the conclusion of the meeting, everybody. Thank you. Um, that was our first Zoom meeting. So um, hopefully we didn't have too many mistakes in there, hopefully. And uh, I want to thank everybody for Zooming in and um, doing their reports for the meeting. And um, hopefully we will see our next meeting in the boardroom, our new boardroom with our new furniture in it, hopefully. Um, at this stage, I'd like to declare the meeting um, closed at 6.41pm. Thank you.